that happen in Hawaii. Hello, buddy. <laughs> so cute. You know, TMI, but transparency over here. <laughs> yeah, it was not good. It was just like a horrible day. But um, so yeah, that's what happened yesterday. I I'm gonna go get my shot, my first shot. <laughs> My arms are already hurting. Anthony says that I'm a hypochondriac. <laughs> I'm a mess. I'm a blow blow. I don't know. Good morning. It is Saturday. It is an eat day. Um, and I've been up since 6 a.m. So I am ready to have uh, lunch. It's only uh, 10.45, but I'm, I'm hungry. I had two cups of coffee and I'm ready to have lunch. So, and I want to use a few of the leftovers I have from um, this past week that are gonna go bad soon, like um, like the tomatillo is close to its last um, leg. Um, so I'm gonna just uh, use everything that I have in a, in a unique way. And I promise I will not make a wrap, although that was my intention, but I'm like, die, no more wraps for a little bit. <laughs> However, I'm like, oh, what, what if I do like a spring roll wrap? And so what I decided to do is, cause I had the leftovers of the salad that I used for the picnic. Um, so I have the greens, I have pickle beets, which are gonna last for a while, but I also have some of the fresh beets, uh, the uh, vegan feta and the pickled um, onions. So what I'm thinking of, and then this is a dressing, I'm gonna do them in, uh, you know, like a, a spring roll, like the clear wrap spring rolls. And, um, you know, usually like I put like veggies um, and I'm gonna make it into like a salad in the spring roll and then put it, uh, use the dressing as a dipping sauce. I'm excited, I think it's gonna taste delicious. Uh, so I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do a few rolls and then as a side salad, just because I want a little bit more freshness uh, and I'm hungry, <laughs> I'm gonna do just like a simple um, tomato, onion, cilantro and avocado salsa um, salad, like a side salad, so. Yeah, it's gonna be very, very nutritious, lots of veggies, um, easy to make, and very fresh. It's like a cold lunch for a Saturday, so I'm excited. Let me uh, let me show you what it uh, ends up to be. Okay, first you put the paper in hot water, uh, not too long because then it breaks apart, um, so just enough. And then you start putting all your ingredients. I added the lettuce, and then this type of lettuce is good if you squeeze it so that the surface um, becomes smaller. And then you put all the other ingredients. I have the beets, and then I put some of uh, the pickled onions, which is perfect on this recipe. And then, of course, the feta cheese, vegan, um, as much as you want. This added a lot of flavor. And then, yeah, you just wrap it. Um, and then each side folds in after you fold it once and then you continue to um, take it to the end and that's it voila it was actually not that hard it's actually more successful than i thought it was gonna be um as always i have problems putting too much in it but that's just what i do <laughs> so yeah i can pick it up with my hand which is awesome because that's Let's see, that's the gold the idea. So I'm gonna just dip it in the um, dressing. And this is the fig uh, mustard uh, maple dressing that I made last week. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just, here I'll, I'll dip this part. Look at the beets and look at the cheese, everything is so cute. So cute, okay. Let's dip it in. Okay, I'm gonna give it a try. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, it's like a salad in a wrap <laughs> and you get all the flavors because they're properly layered it's just fun it's just a different way instead of <laughs> instead of just eating a salad you know um let's try the tomatoes um again i just did cut up tomatoes some red onions cilantro the tomatillo salsa and i also put some of the um feta cheese vegan Mm -hmm. Very simple, very refreshing. The cilantro adds a little nice pop to it. Yeah, guys, this is successful. It's just fun, you know? It's just fun to eat it this way, too. Just dip it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This vinaigrette is so good. It's a nice, fun Sunday brunch. Aloha. Um, 
decided to like go around the island and do some errands and drive around because it was gorgeous and I had planned to make something but I'm tired I just I only had six hours of sleep whatever I don't want to cook <laughs> I was gonna make something really cool but I'll probably make it next time on my eating window so instead uh, we stopped and um, Anthony got some chicken nuggets and I got some ramen my delicious black garlic ramen it has bamboo shoots um, uh, spinach, garlic, and obviously um, ramen <laughs> noodles, but they're sauce. They're, they're, they're broth. It's so addicting, I swear. This is like the best ramen I've ever had. It's from a place called Nudes. And it's just perfection. Perfection. So yeah, I'm gonna have my gigantic no noodle bowl of ramen and have a good night. And I will talk to you guys on Monday. Aloha. About um, noon right now and I'm gonna make lunch. Um, but let me just um, talk a little bit about yesterday. So, well, uh, well, it all started Saturday. <laughs> Saturday I decided to have a few drinks and I keep forgetting that I don't wait as much as I used to wait and my tolerance has definitely changed and the fact that I do ADF also affects my amount of tolerance that I can handle with alcohol and um yeah i only had like a few drinks and oh gosh that sunday was not good like sunday i was like in the couch all day like i was not feeling good like it lasted the entire day like i still felt that like at 9 p.m um, so you know stuff happens um it was horrible like so i did have a handful of nuts and i had i think like two um, lollipops, nuts, and I had some soy sauce, literally, because I like I wanted some sodium or something, electrolytes, I don't know. But um, it all came up. So technically I still do ATF since, uh, since uh, yeah, nothing really stayed in my stomach. I know, TMI, but transparency over here. <laughs> yeah, it was not good. It was just like a horrible day. But um, so yeah, that's what's happened yesterday. I should have honestly eaten I think last time this happened a few months ago I had a burger and then I felt so much better like at noon and then yesterday was just like awful the entire day but whatever it happens you know I survived um but yeah I'm still counting it technically as an ADF because you know nothing's sitting in my stomach so it is what it is <laughs> but I feel so much better today uh and I'm hungry and I would like to eat food so I'm gonna make a little Asian noodle salad um I feel like eating noodles and I feel like eating something like Asian -y flavor flavors um so and let me just tell you real quick what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have um, my, the leftovers of my mixed greens I'm gonna sa saute some um carrot mushrooms and green onions uh in these sauces I'm gonna make like a marinade that I'm gonna use for that for the mushrooms and I'm also gonna use it for uh, tofu I'm gonna put it in the air fryer I've never really done it this way especially this is medium firm but um I have it and I need to use it so I'm gonna make like a marinade with uh, the soy ginger dressing um, vegan fish sauce hoisin sauce liquid aminos and garlic and a little bit of water probably 
and I'm gonna use the marinade, like I said, for the tofu and for the mushrooms. I'm gonna have then these glass noodles, and then I'm gonna put it all over the base of this um, greens with this uh, teriyaki sauce. So, I don't know, it sounds good to me. <laughs> and that's what I'm gonna have. And I think it's gonna, like, I like it when, especially these type of mixed greens, are, are cold but then they also get like a little wilted after you put like the hot stuff on it so i think it's gonna be a good little lunch so let me uh let me show you what it looks like so i made the marinade in the nutribullet and it was a little liquidy so i added I said a little bit of tahini and yeah all the recipe is in the description down below and i liked it a lot more with it just a little bit of tahini goes a long way so then I took the tofu um, and I cut it in a little cubes and I poured the marinade over it and I let it sit for about 10 minutes. The longer the better. Uh, that's all I had. So um, I just make sure everything is coated. A, long, a little bit goes a long way. Um, and then I put it in the air fryer uh, <laughs> for about, I think I did it for like 10 minutes. Um, and this is what they came out i should have put some pam because some of them stuck to the to the bottom but hey not all of them and it still tasted delicious but just fyi make sure that you probably coat it with if you use oil oil or pam and then the glass noodles go in and then you can see this is already like three four minutes after how transparent they are uh, that's when you know they are ready um, and then I literally just um, drain it and took scissors and cut a little bit up because they're really really long so just cut them up um, before I like to do it after I boil it um, and then yeah I just set it aside um, but it's just easier to eat that way and then I took the carrot and I julienned it with this little tool that's really handy I saute the mushrooms and then I was gonna add the carrots and the scallions after the mushrooms cook down um, as such <laughs> and um, yeah that took literally like three minutes and then I took the leftover marinade from the tofu and then a little bit of the other leftover marinade and I left a little bit towards the, to the to, you know, to top it at the end of the salad. And then this I just let it sit for a little bit um, so that it would infuse the mushrooms, um, probably like another minute or so, um, but it's melt so good. And that's it. And then you pour it on the salad and, um, and then you just place every single component around it. Um, and it's just humongous like i just want to show you how big the salad is um and then i put some sesame seeds on top of the tofu okay i honestly wish you could smell this because it smells so so good so good <laughs> so i'm gonna give each component a try first i'm gonna try the mushrooms with the carrots mm. very delicious Mm, very delicious. I tried the tofu. So this is the first time I'm cooking medium tofu. I kind of like the, the, the texture of it. Like, I haven't tried it, but like touching it, you know? Mmm. Whoa. I like that so much better than when I make firm tofu in the uh, air fryer. And I didn't use any cornstarch or anything. I just used a sauce. Oh, it has such nice flavor. Mmm, I really like it. And then I'm gonna just have a little bit of the the noodles. Mm -hmm. the last noodles are great because whatever sauce you put in it, they like soak it up. And since this sauce actually turned out really good. And then now I'm gonna do one bite with like everything. I'm gonna try. And the greens. There we go mushroom greens tofu <laughs> okay mm -hmm. mm. oh this is so good ah! okay i'm really really happy right now <laughs> i'm so hungry this is freaking delicious this tastes like you just got it like from a restaurant wow that's so good this tofu man i'm like shocked it took 10 minutes to make. Okay, 12 if I can't make in the sauce. Like, what? Alright, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat. 
I'm going to probably, I don't know, usually I like to mix it up, but I kind of like to keep it separately on these greens. Oh. Mm -hmm. You have your protein from the tofu, veggies, from the greens, and the mushrooms, on the carrots, a little bit of carbs with the noodles. Got everything. Okay. Well, guys, still dinner. Bye. So it is uh, almost six o'clock and I want to make this dinner. I've been wanting to make this dish since I last went to Disney, which was, well, no, I had this dish over a year ago. Oh, look, a little gecko. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Cute. <laughs> Things that happen in Hawaii. Hello, buddy. <laughs> so cute. Um, and when I, when we went back in August and November, that one restaurant that carried this dish was closed. So I've been, I've been craving it so much. So I'm going to try to recreate part of it. Um, and it's a couscous salad with like, um, these like dried fruit, which was impossible to find in Hawaii. Uh, you only find like huge ones in bulk and not like a medley. So I had to order this from Amazon. Um, a lot of money <laughs> but I'm so excited so let me just show you um what I'll be making so I'm gonna be making a couscous salad it's like a citrus citrus um fruity warm couscous salad uh that's what I remember I remember eating it and I'm like ooh, and like I was getting like apricot and stuff like that it was delicious so I'm gonna try to recreate it from from what I remember it tasted like so yeah it's gonna have um, I'm gonna cook the couscous in a little bit of orange and then I'm gonna put some actual orange in the salad and then I have this citrus champagne vinaigrette that I'm going to use also um, when boiling the couscous because then couscous you do um, one cup of couscous for one and a half cups of liquid and it just uh, after it boils you put it in and you let it sit uh, off the so, so the couscous kind of like absorbs all the liquid so you want to actually put stuff in the liquid so that it tastes yummy and then i think i'm going to do what i do with the other uh, raisins i think i'm going to put this in also vinegar and warm it up so that they um rehydrate and then and then yeah i will put some lemon and some parsley i think i think it had mint but i don't have mint so that's what's gonna happen and then i'm also gonna make as a side my cauliflower with my buffalo sauce and i wish i had sour cream to make my ranch but i don't so i'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of the vegan feta on top of it kind of like blue cheese you know so i'm excited i think it's gonna taste delicious so we shall see um i don't have my tripod thing i haven't bought another one so i don't know how much i will show uh, of this cooking because i am really hungry and showing it's a little hard but um i'll see what i can show real fast um of the steps but um this i think this one's gonna be a winner let's hope so i bought these cara cara um you know oranges i didn't know they were pink when i caught them i was like are these grapefruit but no they were orange they're just cute i don't have an orange juicer so i just used my hand but it gave me about a, a quarter of a cup of the juice in using just one orange then I zested the other orange so that I would add a lot of flavor. Zest goes a long way. And then the rest was just regular water. And then I brought it up to boil. And I put um, the couscous. And then you, you, know, you mix it. You make sure that it's still boiling, which it was. Uh, and then you cover it and turn the heat off. And then you let it sit for about 10 minutes. Um, now I let it sit for like 20 minutes, which was probably a mistake, but it still was okay. And then you're supposed to fluff it with the fork. Again, if you do it like right after the 10 minutes, it's probably better because it started to clump a little bit, um, you know, for me. But again, I was able to start separating it and that was sufficient. Um, but yeah, it's better if you do it at a 10 minute mark. Um, but you can see all the zest in it and it just adds to the flavor. And then the dry fruit, I put some water, half water, and then half of the um, vinegar. And I don't know why I'm moving it with my finger, but I put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. And then I took it out and strained the liquid, but I didn't, I didn't throw it out because that liquid I'm going to use later. Um, but I just wanted it to cool down a little bit. And then I cut some of the cilantro, and then I um, 
I cut the other orange in slices and then I put everything in the couscous. So the dried fruit, the orange, the cilantro, and then the leftover um, water vinegar mixture. Um, and then you just mix and then you add more uh, vinegar to taste if you want. Um, I actually also added half a lemon um, just to give it a little more acidity. But this really just now is to taste. But I didn't add anything else, no like spices or salt or anything like that um, because I wanted to shine from the other flavors and that was enough. And then for my buffalo chicken, not chicken, um, mock chicken. <laughs> I did the cauliflower with Pam and then I take a sifter and I sift some um, of the cornstarch over it and then I put it in the air fryer for 10 minutes, it says 20 but first I put it for 10, then I take it out um, and with my little Mickey hands that are cute but not a little harder to use. <laughs> uh, but you know who I did it for, <laughs> Heather. Um, so yeah, I um, put uh, four tablespoons, I found that is enough for one head of lettuce. Um, I put first half of it and I mix it with my hand um, to get it to get the sauce all over it. This way it goes uh, a long way better um, instead of using a lot of sauce because this has a little bit of fat in it. And But look, the four tablespoons made enough for um, the whole entire head of cauliflower and then I put it back for another 10 minutes and it's perfect. Okay, let's give this a try. By the way, I've noticed I actually made, I think, cauliflower wings every single time I wear this damn sweater because every single time I get it so dirty. Like, I just had to wash it here and then I just lift it. I'm like, oh gosh, I'm a mess. <laughs> I'm a mess. I'm a blah, blah. I don't know. But this is looking delicious. I'm so excited. So, I am going to give this a try first. I'm gonna grab some with the um, dry fruit and also the like everything in it. Okay, it smells really good. Mm -hmm. This is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just tried another. I don't know what fruits. It's in, I think there's apricots um cranberries but like you don't need a lot of dressing because that as along with the orange gives it like a nice kind of like sauce mm. okay it is really good i do hmm? i think it well you don't remember so you know what this is this is a recreation of um remember toledo no yeah you don't remember okay i'm gonna try the the wings with the cheese because I don't have a sauce. Well, so. so Let's see. Mm. Okay. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. I like it. I've never had done this before. But it was starting to get spicy. And then I got the creaminess of the cheese cooling it down. Mm -mm -mm. This is a winner. This is a humongous dinner. But it's gonna be and this is really good because this is a little bit um not as pungent of flavor very delicate but the wings are very really strong so it's a good balance um between like bites to refresh my palate you know mm. i'm all excited anthony how are your wings very good. yeah one to ten eleven no, they're really good. They turn out really good. Like, I make them all look how pretty. You know, you can like batter them and stuff like that, but I don't think it's necessary. Um, this putting the powder makes it a little bit crispy. And it doesn't add a ton of calories, and that's a whole head of um, cauliflower that we share together. So, yeah, we're gonna go watch the cage and enjoy this dinner. Hello, guys. Hey guys, so I am here. I'm gonna go get my shot, my first shot. <laughs> my arm's already hurting. Anthony says that I'm a hypochondriac. <laughs> oh yeah, like it literally is hurting. 
Okay, I'll talk to you guys afterwards. Um, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, it'll just be a sore arm, an actual legit sore arm versus my head thinking that it's hurting. Okay, talk to you later. I just realized that this is actually the check-in for um, <laughs> for uh, when you're going on a cruise. Or is it telling me that I'm going somewhere to the beyond? <laughs> okay, I survived! Yuck, yuck, yuck. Um, <laughs> the doctor's like, okay, you have four more minutes. I'm like, yep, I'm still alive. <laughs> he left. Because <laughs> we had to sit there for like 15 minutes to make sure that, I don't know, you're not dead. I don't know what I'm checking. But uh, yeah, it was actually not bad. It was actually really, really fast. Like it was a quick prick. I thought it would take a little bit of time to like put the liquid in, but it's pretty fast, pretty good. I'm alive, 50% vaccinated. Got the Pfizer. Um, so yeah, I will uh, keep you posted. She just said probably sore arm or whatever. So we shall see. But yeah, just wanted to bring you guys along. It's a beautiful day here. Aloha. Good afternoon. Well, it's almost noon. And it is March 31st, 2021, which means it's the end of my 90 days. So more to that to come. Right now I need to focus on making this lunch because we have a virtual lunch at work and I only have 15 minutes to cook all this. So um, let me tell you what I'm making for lunch. I wanted something refreshing and a, a salad came to mind because I bought a brand new avocado salsa tub that I need to use. So I'm just gonna make uh, like a Mexican salad with just leftovers to be honest with you um, so I'm gonna have lettuce tomatoes and onions and frozen corn and then I had this um, tofu that I had air fried with some taco seasoning a while ago and some um, black beans that I also make myself um, so I'm gonna defrost those and then I have here I'm gonna put some rice and I'm gonna put this within it. Oh my gosh, this tastes so good. It gives it like a, a, a like a limey flavor, but it also makes it like yellowish and it's just delicious. So I'm gonna cook a, a half a cup of uncooked rice. It's gonna be quite a bit, but I want, it, I want it to be a lot of rice in it. And then a sauces, I was gonna use my queso, but I only have a few handful of it. And I, I just don't want to, I just don't want to. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use regular salsa and uh, avocado tomatillo salsa. So. Very simple, very easy to make. Um, so I'm not gonna show you the steps because it's like make rice, cut everything up, heat everything up, put it in a bowl, eat it. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just show you what it looks like after. And um, yeah, I'm excited today. It's like a big day, but I will tell you more about that um, in like a few hours because I have a little surprise for somebody. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you in a second. Let me cook <laughs> up everything. Mm. Mm. The tofu, tofu is definitely chewy, but every other flavor is delicious. Like, so good. And the cheese actually, it's really, really good. Feta cheese acts like, um, like, um, um, queso blanco in, in, you know, Latin America. So, there's gonna be a humongous bowl that's gonna keep me full for a while. Okay, I will be back in like three hours to give you a quick little update on something. And I just want to show you what it looks like when you mix it all together. But you can see the tofu bites, the beans, the tomatoes, the rice, the corn. It's just really delicious. Hello, everyone. So I am actually at the airport, <laughs> which was a little hush hush surprise that only a few people knew because, um, back in the January of this year I um, I had to do my audits at um, our locations and which includes Maui right and my best friend in the whole wide world decided to well she was supposed to come last year but COVID happened so she decided to book a trip to Maui uh, and Hawaii and Oahu um, but first she's coming to Maui um, today and as soon as I figure that out, I'm like planning all my audits so that I would make sure that I would be there today, the day that she lands, even though I go back and forth. I'm flying today, flying back home today, but I timed it so that I would be there when she lands and surprise her. <laughs> it's 
So uh, she's coming to Oahu. I'm going to see her. She thinks I'm going to see her on um, uh, Sunday. But no, I planned this whole thing uh, to make sure that I'm there um, as, right as she comes out of the airplane. Uh, she was really sad and bummed because um, obviously you can't do the late greetings that you can pay for at the airport because of COVID. Um, so I went and got them all lays. So that by the time they get off the plane, I'll be there to greet them. Even for like a second. Well, actually a little longer than that. So her flight, she texted me right when she was on the plane. Her flight got delayed. Um, so I timed it so that I would be there. Um, she would arrive at 6.20. My flight would leave at 7.20. So I would have enough time for, you know, to see them before um, I had to catch my plane. Um, and now her plane was delayed an hour and she would arrive at 7.20, which my I would have to be already in my plane. Oh, so I actually was able to change my flight tonight from 7.20 to 8.50. So it's gonna be totally worth it. I cannot wait to see her face. She literally is like my best friend in the whole wide world. Um, and fun fact, we actually made may, um, um, met through YouTube back uh gosh i think seven years ago seven years ago yeah i think no more like eight years ago through youtube when i was doing acg and she was doing cg and we would just comment on each other's videos and then we realized that we we're like we had so much in common and like we're just very similar and like we just clicked and we did an acg meetup and like in immediately like she just became my best friend and um she just means the world to me and i've seen i went to see her so we met in vegas i went to see her at her house in utah and she's come to my uh, oahu um two years ago and now she's coming back and i'm gonna i can't wait to hug her and like see her face when she sees me like when she gets off the plane so i'm so excited <laughs> but um yeah i just got to the airport um i'm at the plumeria um lounge because I always get to the airport too early <laughs> so I'm gonna work for a little bit before my flight at least like in 40 minutes so I have I have a little bit of time to work and um, they always have like snacks and sandwiches here but uh, the sandwich is very vegetarian and not vegan and today is the last day that I'm gonna eat plant-based and I'm still gonna eat plant-based all day today so even though they have like onions and mushroom in a uh, poi sandwich bread the bread has milk and eggs so i'm like no no so i just grabbed um lace <laughs> uh and i'm just gonna snack on this and then eat something at the airport since i'm gonna be there till like nine o'clock at night <laughs> but uh again it's gonna be all worth it i can't wait to like see her and hug her give them their lace i'm so excited so i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to like record it because i can't wait to see her face <laughs> Um, and since, since I'm going to be in the gates because I have a flight to catch, I'm going to be able to see them as they come out. So I'm so excited. Um, yeah, I had to like change my flight today after I found out hers was delayed. It's been a crazy day, but it's all worth it. All worth it. Um, and I can't wait to see her. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to record it and show you guys. Okay. Until then, I will, um, yeah, I will work. <laughs> and then, um, and then, uh, yeah. The fun stuff will happen. So this happened. <laughs> I literally had a baby next to me. No, the mom was coming, but she left him there. <laughs> he was just staring at me. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> and then, oh, look at this beautiful rainbow as soon as we uh, departed. It's just picture perfect, honestly. Um, and then I just want to take a little video of my house. I love that when we fly around here, I can see my building. Here I am. Okay, so I made it to their gate. That's where they're gonna come out of. To say that I'm excited is like not even like an understatement. It's like, <laughs> um, so I got Starbucks instead of um, Burger King because honestly, I don't want Burger King, I just don't want it. Uh, I just don't like when I want Burger King I'd have Burger King uh, that was the only option I had um, the other option like I showed you was like this restaurant that had zero like not even like a salad because everything was with Caesar dressing whatever um, but I had the, <laughs> the mango refresher but they are literally at the last um, gate possible so my like 10 minute walk made it like none so blended <laughs> but it's still delicious so this is gonna hold me over. I did have 
<laughs> three of the Lay's potatoes. Um, I had them, I had two over there and then I had one as a snack and then um, maybe that's why I don't want the Burger King because I'm kind of full <laughs> from potato chips. And I'm also just excited. <laughs> so excited, like, I'm like, so excited. <laughs> so I'm going to, um, I have their delays. I'm going to take them out in like about 20 minutes. And, um, yeah, stand right there. And see my friend and give her a hug. And I'm so excited. I'm also charging my phone because my phone is dead, as it always is. So anyways, I don't know. I'm just rambling because I'm just too excited about everything. So that's what happens when I'm excited. Oh my god, how long does it take to get off the plane? <laughs> ah, I guess so. Yeah, I was Ricky like, was not really feeling bad. The landing was a little rough on me. My belly is not happy. Are you happy to see me? Yes. Or is that your belly? You were like shining. It's like your outfit and your mask. I was like, what the hell is that? Well, that? Aloha, guys. Hi. Nice to have you here. Hello. <laughs> we'll see you more in like four days when you're yes. actually where we're supposed to see you. Oh my, yeah. But I wanted to surprise you with your name. She's the here. sweetest. She's the sweetest. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just, you're still like a, like a monkey. Yeah, I'm not really. Yeah, I don't think you've landed yet. I haven't yet. grounded yet. No, you haven't landed yet. <laughs> I'm still. Uh, I yeah. love you. Yeah, I love you. You're so sweet. I'm so happy. Yeah. <laughs> I know, yeah, we're going to have an amazing time. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait. <laughs> well, it was so good to see her and I can't wait to have her here on Sunday and go out to dinners and enjoy more time with her but this was just perfect um, and then yeah I was back home I was so tired I was happy that I didn't have anyone next to me this time and just enjoy my 20 minute ride back home okay so final update of this 90 days um, so even though I usually do my updates on Friday today is the 31st so we're gonna do it today because uh, this marks the end of the 90 day um, round that I did um, and I'm really happy um, that I was able to like continue uh, giving this shit show of a year I want to talk about it because I don't want to cry on my video um, but it's just been uh, one of the hardest things I have to deal with but um, I, I am happy that I didn't just completely throw everything down the toilet that I've been working for so hard and that the results that I'm about to share today are, you know, I see them as positive. Yes, could have been better, of course, but that's the thing, like life happens and, you know, it's never going to be perfect and we need to let go of perfect and just um, do our best and then be happy with the results you know that's all we can do so um yeah let me give you a little bit of an um update on this week this journey and what's next um so for this week's uh weigh-in so i am actually gonna share actually the weight I, I, don't, I usually just do the changes but at the end and at the beginning i always share what the weight is the actual weight um and my goal was to make it into the 60s and i did so today uh, I was 168.2. So that means, um, oh, I didn't calculate from last week to this week, but it wasn't really a week, so I'm not gonna calculate that. But what I did calculate was um, my, my weight loss for this 90 days was uh, 29 pounds, because I started at 197.2 and um, 168.2, so that's 29 pounds lost. Uh, mind you, it could have been more um, because I did, you know, in February with everything that happened with Mumu, I gained some of it back and then I lost it again. So what I wanted to get out of those 90 days is to show that 
I started really good in January. February went to shit, you know, and then March I regrouped and continued. And my graph is going to show you that, you know, yes, I went down, then when I went back up, but then I continued to go down. And as long as the trajectory shows progress, that is all you can ask for. Um, because I could have just gone down and then just completely up, you know, and I chose to not let it go past a certain point and I'll show you that in a little bit but that was like I had like my threshold that I was not allowing myself to lose myself again and I think that's what I that's why I got to the point where I got when I was at my highest I just like gave up caring and um that's why I ended up where I did you know and now I have to like pay the price but uh making sure that you allow yourself to have some wiggle room for life, for vacations, for events, for things that you don't plan, for, you know, loss, grief, like coping, you know, but don't let it get out of control and have some sort of mechanisms in place where you say, okay, I need to rein the, what is the word? Rein the rain? I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I need to put something in place where I can't just like give up or let myself go again or, you know. And I think, I, I think I, I, I put those controls in place and I'm going to show you later what that meant um, for me, you know, but you have to find what makes sense for you. Um, but yeah, so 29 pounds. Um, and I think that is so successful. Like I am so proud of that number. Like I said, well, could have been more. Yes. Do I care? Absolutely zero. No. Um, and I am actually really proud to say my total loss since I started in September. So that way it was 233.8, which still is so weird when I put it in the calculator to start with two and know that I'm like not even I'm like so far away from it now that it's, it makes me so proud because honestly I worked really hard for it. Um, but yeah, I am proud. Um, 233.8. To 168.2 and that is one uh 65.6 pounds lost which is incredible incredible um but like so when i was writing down these numbers i love my little cheat sheet no um you know the first the first um 100 days that i did i lost 50 pounds right and then now my total is 65.6 right so technically I the Delta is only 15 um, so if I would have added the 29 pounds that I lost without the minus and ups you know um, it would have been like closer to like 80 pounds right but it's only 65 and that is the thing that you have to be okay with um, that it's okay like life happens and and i could have instead of being 65 i could have been from 50 to 35 you know like look at it always that way like yeah it wasn't as much as i could have done but it is still towards the direction where i wanted to go and to me that is progress and um that is just life i like i don't have a competition i'm not gonna win in a word if i lose it at a certain amount of time you know so to me that is um that's what matters and that's what counts um and yeah sometimes like it's 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 given me the freedom to not be so attached to the number and just focus on the journey and i think that shift on in mind is so important um so yeah those are the numbers okay so now i want to show you my um fasting app uh, like i said i use zero i love that app um so it just it just tracks you know everything um that i've done to date and it's just fun to see the numbers because it's kind of like oh my gosh how much i fasted uh so it's just cool and that part of it um but it's also motivating to see always like especially like my favorite part is this, this calendar part um because you can see it in a in a in a month's clip you know glimpse how many I, hours and then all the green means that I've fasted every single, um, every other day, you know, like I did my window fast properly. Obviously February was, I don't, I, I couldn't care less. I, no, I, yeah, I couldn't care less. People always say that wrong. And now I'm like, <laughs> um, yeah, and that was what it was. 
uh, and that's it's fine, it's all good. Um, and I needed to do what I needed to do. Uh, and then in March, I picked it right back up in it's all green, all AF days. And so, yeah, it's just a good way to make sure that you're tracking everything and then you're, you know, you're, you're it's keeping you towards the goal that you want, you know? And then the other app I want to show you is my uh, weight app, um, my scale. Um, I love this one because it shows you, um, you know, the, the glimpse of your current situation. So it tells me my current weight and I, I put my weight every day, or day so that I can track it in, in the graph. But it also tells me how far I have to go to my goal. So I'm 63% to my weight goal, which is awesome because it just puts it into perspective. And then it also tells you, you know, it's like, so 40 pounds is what I still want to lose. So getting there, getting there. <laughs> And then this tab is like the one that I see, I look at the most because it's the most encouraging to me. It shows you, like I said, the trajectory, the trajectory down, but it also reminds you that it's like, it's not perfect. There's gonna be ups and hills and downs and hills, like literally every day, look at this, every day, there's like up and down, up and down and up and down, you know? Um, and it's, it's just, it's just a good reminder. Um, but then the, the safety checks that I was telling you guys about is what I really make sure that I use this app to remind me. Um, so like this, uh, it starts with Disney and that's when it was, uh, I gained a little bit of weight and then I lost all the way when I went down to the 50 pounds. Then I took my two week break, right? And then I went up, but I made sure that, that I didn't go up, up to my Disney highest weight. Like that was like my threshold, like no more past there. <laughs> And then I started March, uh, January, and that January went down because it was like really, you know, I was really focused on like doing ADF since I was, my head with my mood was just not there, but like I could control what I ate and it was helping me through coping with when he was like really sick. Um, and then, you know, we lost our baby and um, I really didn't track anything. I didn't track my ADF. I, was still eating plant-based, which was the one thing that I held on. Uh, and I'm so proud that to say that in the 90 days, I stayed 100% plant-based. Um, but when I, I was still weighing, uh, I did not I did not say, I'm gonna eat whatever I want and I'm gonna forget about everything. I said, no, you're still gonna weigh. And if you see the weight going up to the 50 pounds, that's where you cut it. Like you, that's where you start like regrouping and be like, we can't let it go on. Like that's not gonna help anybody. <laughs> I mean, me. So that was my threshold and it got really close to it, like a pound away from that. And then I just said, you know what? Let's refocus again this next month. And that's what I did. And then the trajectory started coming down. So just again, remind, remind remembering that it's like, that is what's really important um, to think about the long journey like nobody cares if you gained or lost within like you know a day a week whatever but now that i looked at my first 100 days and now my second 90 days and i have come so far and um it's it's you know sometimes you don't think about how far you come day to day you know so it's nice to look at these that's why i like to do groups of dates like 100 90 um because it's good to look back um, and you know, be proud for the hard work, <laughs> <It's> hard work, <laughs> but it's so worth it. So, um, and now I'm just going to close real fast to tell you guys what my plan is a little bit. Um, but, uh, for the next few days, few weeks. So I am taking, um, a break from, uh, plant-based and I've, I, for me that works. Um, I did it in December for two weeks. Uh, and now I'm going to do it again for 11 days. Um, but I've learned that it didn't help me eat whatever I wanted <laughs> those two weeks. I really felt sick one day. <laughs> um, I'm just going to uh, allow myself to, you know, if I want to eat plant-based, I'm going to eat plant-based. If I don't want to, I, I won't. It's going to be very, very flexible, very fluid. Um, my best friend is coming to town, which is also one of the main reasons why I did this, so I could eat and enjoy myself because I, I don't get to see her very often. Um, so yeah, so it's gonna be, um, I may, I may, I'm not gonna promise anything to give kind of context. Uh, I may try some OMAD days and see if that helps, you know, to stay, you know, stay, you know, 
don't go back to a certain threshold. I'm gonna figure out what that threshold is for myself. I don't know what it is yet now, but there is gonna be a point where I'm gonna weigh myself every day and if I see it coming close to that, I will maybe start doing more OMAD days or something like that. But yeah, it's just gonna be kinda, of, it's nice to also take a break mentally um, from tracking and making sure that you're always like eating you know, perfectly. It's just good for my mind, my soul, and my happiness. <laughs> That's it. I may I may blog that what I eat, I may not, I'm not, you know, it's just a break. But um yeah, so that's the next eleven days. So from April first to April eleventh. Um and then April twelfth through I think May twenty second, I am going to do another um ADF round, plan based, like as always. It's only gonna be forty days and I'll tell you that on the next video once I start that um round. But um yeah. It's, it's actually good because I know I have a plan to restart and now I'm just going to be free to do whatever I want and um, it works for me. Like you have to find what works for you. It's kind of like a little bit of freedom throughout the year but with certain, you know, um, safe, safe points, <laughs> you know, to make sure that the trajectory keeps going down. Um, but yeah, um, that's my journey and that's how I want to do it and I'm, I'm enjoying it too, which is like the main thing. Like I love... I love when I eat during the 90 days, you know, even though I'm technically, you know, dieting, I, 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 it brings me joy to make the food that I make and to eat it. <laughs> um, and then using ADF as a tool is just the best thing that has happened to me, I swear. And then, and then giving me these like, you know, two week periods, like every three months or something like that to just be free, um, and do whatever I want. Uh, it, it it keeps me sane, it keeps me happy, it keeps me flexible, and um, yeah, I see, I see it as something sustainable. And ultimately, that's what you have to find for you, what's going to be sustainable. Um, but that's it. <laughs> I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you guys for watching, as always, uh, and coming through with me in this journey. Um, and, you know, I, I love, love seeing in the comments how much... Um, you love the recipes or how much um, my my perseverance and and what I go through and sharing it encourages you um, and I'm there always in the comments encouraging as well uh, because it, it's you know it's nice to know that there's others doing the same thing for me and I'm sure for you and I love it it just makes me so happy <laughs> okay guys um, but yeah so I may do a, a, like I said, a, a video of the break or I may not so if I don't I'll see you um, the week of the 12th and if not i will see you a little bit before but uh just know that i will be back and uh, i can't wait to share continue to share my journey aloha guys <laughs>